on the actual specimen. What you need to know is here is on the olfactory tract. Next to it is the terminal nerve zero. On the exam, you want to make sure you put the number of the nerve as well. Um, and then it goes into the olfactory bulb and then the sac, which is the rounded part. You can't see because I didn't open that part, but it's the little bulb is actual sac. You have the bulb and then the sac sits on the bulb. Um, and then you have the cerebral hemispheres here. And that all of those structures together are part of the telencephalon. And then to the side or lateral to it here, you have the superficial ophthalmic trunk. And um, you just need to know that it, where it is, which is the air on both sides. And then the little region right here is part of the diencephalon. And all you need to know is that it's a part of the third ventricle. You can't see all the individual structures on this one. And then from there you have the mesencephalon, which is the division. And these structures are the optic lobes. And then you have the metencephalon. This is the body of the cerebellum. And then these are the oracles of the cerebellum. And then here you have the myelencephalon, that's the division. The actual structure is the medulla oblongata. Um, again, on the sides you have the acousto-lateral area, acoustico-lateral area. And then you have the columns. You won't have to know which ones are which, but the ones that you could see directly right here, the somatic motor and then somatic sensory, and then the other ones are harder to differentiate. And this is the fourth ventricle. And then once it exits the condocranium, it's the spinal cord. And that's pretty much the main things you need to know.